Hey, what's up guys? It's Franchise923, and in this video I want to talk about ArcGIS Drone to Map. Um, so Drone to Map is a program that Esri has come out with uh, for processing drone imagery, and the point of this software is to make it as uh, more streamlined than it would be to process drone imagery in um, ArcGIS Pro, for example. So this is sort of just like a standalone application. It, it looks very similar to ArcGIS Pro, but it has a single function, and that's just to, to process drone imagery. Um, so ArcGIS Drone to Map under the hood uses something called Pix4D. And if you've processed drone imagery, you might have heard of these guys. They're pretty popular uh, in the scene. So Drone to Map just under the hood uses whatever algorithms that Pix4D um, uses. So uh, it, it's pretty good and it, it's very streamlined. And especially if you're familiar with the Esri ecosystem, um, you know, you can upload your projects easily to Portal. It's, it's all integrated into uh, the Esri uh, ecosystem. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to process some drone imagery that I have um, on my SD card here. Um, and I'm just going to process it and make an ortho map out of it. And I think I'll also make a uh, like a 3D, um, 3D model. So in this video, I'm just going to go through that process. Um, so let's just get started. So the first thing I'm just going to plug in my SD card here and we need to copy these files uh, just to a local drive so I'm gonna open these actually flew over um, a construction site the other day so I flew this was on Sunday I think 22nd let me just make sure these are the right pictures no it's not these ones Actually, let's look. Yeah, it's the 238. So I'm just going to copy these. And I'm going to throw them on my drive here. Oh, what day is it? 11.25. Actually, I should probably rename that folder the date that we collected it the 22nd. Yeah, while this is copying, I'm just gonna go ahead and open drone to map. So I have it pinned down here. I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. It's easy to use. So this is what it looks like when it first opens up. Um, so I'm actually going to pick the 3D mapping project because in here I can also say I want to make an ortho photo as well. So if you want to do everything you can, just go with the 3D mapping. I'm going to call this um, construction site. And I'm going to make a new project here. I'll make a new folder. Here we go. It's called Drone Projects. And yeah, once these files finish copying, uh, we're just going to import them into Drone to Map. So I'm, I'm just going to pause the video until this copies. All right, so the copy finished. Um, I'm going to rename this folder before I forget to the, na uh, the date when I actually flew the drone, so the 22nd. And I'm just going to take a look at these images, and I want to I want to get rid of any that aren't part of the flight. So this is one that we don't need. Now this you can see this was part of our flight. So these are all good, and I'm just going to go to the end, and you can look at the timestamps. Like it's pretty clear that these are all part of the same flight. But let me just check the last one because sometimes the last one. All right, so these are all good. They're good to import. So now we can just add images. And I'm going to browse to where I save those files. Uh, drone files. In here, and I'm just going to control A and select all of these because I know that these are all good. And when we import them, you'll see it quickly parses through all the, the metadata of the images and it'll get the Latin long um, of it, which is pretty cool. It gets the altitude, date taken. So now we can just create a project. 
and this is cool you'll see quickly that it, it's going to create flight lines it's going to plot out everywhere that the drone flew All right, loading imagery, so it's probably parsing all the JPEG metadata. Okay, so you can see we're presented with, you know, everywhere an image was taken. That's pretty cool. You can see, basically, you can pretend like you're flying the drone, and you can follow along the flight. So I forgot to mention how I how I flew the drone. I used um, a program called Drone Deploy, um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about after we get this started. Um, but it's pretty simple, just to set up an area where you want to fly, and then just the, the drone will automatically fly it. Um, but yeah, this is what you're presented with, um, and all we need to do is go to this options area. And remember how I said if you wanted to create a 2D product, you could also do it if you picked 3D mapping. So in the 2D products, I'm going to say create ortho mosaic. Um, might, might as well create the digital surface model. Uh, I'm just going to leave all this default for now. And a 3D product, I want to make um, the scene layer package. So this is an Esri specific thing, the scene layer PK. And I also want to do this OSGB. And I think this is more of like an open source version. I could be wrong, but let's just make both of them. Um, but the scene layer will be able to upload to portal, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to leave this all default. And yeah, then you just click, click apply and click OK. And now that the options are set, next thing we need to do is actually press start. So I'm going to press start and we'll see that it starts processing. Um, one thing to note, it might be better to copy your images to a local drive it might run faster. I have these copied on one of my network drives. Um, probably not the most ideal, but, um, I think it's going to work fine. But you know, if you have like a solid state drive, I would copy them there just for while you're processing them, it, it might help speed things up. All right. So it's doing its job. It's probably going to take maybe 30 minutes I, I'd say. So I'm going to stop the video. Um, but first, let's take a look at Task Manager. I want to see how much of the CPU is being used. So you can see it's really, oh, that's OBS. That's the video recording process uh, software. Um, but you'll see if you note, if you monitor this uh, throughout the process that it'll, it'll spike your CPU and GPU pretty high. Um, so just an important thing to keep in mind. This computer has plenty of power, but if you're running on like a laptop or something, just keep an eye on this. Um, let's see here. You know, it might not be far along in, uh, in the process yet. Yeah, it's really not using it yet. Um, yeah, why don't we just let this run for a little bit and I'm not going to stop the video yet. I want to show you the drone deploy software I was talking about. So drone deploy. This is basically a flight programming or flight planning software. Oh God. Let's see if I remember my password. Could it be that easy? Oh, nice. So if you look at this high school construction, this was the project I'm talking about. So this is where I, what I, did earlier. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you an example of how, how you go back, how you would start a new project. So you can just basically pick somewhere. I think that's how you do it. Project. Let's just try this. Um, maybe you have to zoom in. Yeah, so you just need to go somewhere. 
and then say you want to create the project here. I'll call it San Francisco. And what I used, I used this maps and models. So they have different types of automated flights you could run. Uh, maps and models, photo report, video. This is what you want to do if you want to uh, make 3D models. Um, so you can see here, this is basically how you would start planning it. You can change where you want it to fly, the, the altitude of it. Um, and this enhanced 3D setting, that will basically make it so it goes back and forth and like down and up and back and forth, like cross hatching. Um, the flight I'm processing now, I just did the single flight line because you can see it takes longer to run the 3D obviously. Um, but if you're specifically doing it for, for 3D models, you, you probably should do the 3D. Um, but yeah, basically you create this on drone deploy and then download the drone deploy app and you can log in uh, and it'll just show up there and you can take control of your drone um, through the, the drone deploy app. Uh, it, it's probably my favorite uh, flight planning software. Um, so now let's just take a look at the processor. Still not doing that much. Man, that the um, OBS really crushes the CPU. OBS is how I'm recording the, the screen recording video. Oh, here it is. Drone to map process.exe. Yeah, that's what's okay. Never mind. So you can see here, it's really um, taking a toll in the computer. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to pause the video and I will turn it back on when this completes.